Right, so in the, I'm going to keep this very quick, less than two minutes I hope. In the last video we talked about the Rayleigh criterion and the angle theta min was given to us in radians. And somebody posted that they'd forgotten what radians was. Could we just have a recap of what they are and how to convert them into degrees? So, let's do this very quickly. I could take two circles. Now the left hand circle I could split into 360 even sections. All right. Now if I did that into 360 sections, <clears throat> the angle of one of those sections would be one degree. And we know that because a degree is a 1 360th of a circle. But I've chosen to use 360 bits. What if I chose to divide it into 6.28 equal bits? Now that sounds very strange, doesn't it? 6.28 equal bits, but just stick with the analogy. If I did that, then the angle of one of those bits, we would say is one radian. So really a radian is just a way of measuring an angle, just like a degree is. Only a radian is going to be much bigger. It's 1 6.28 of a circle rather than um, a 360th of a circle. So where does that number 6.28 come from and how do I convert one into the other? Well, let's have a look at, let's say a half circle. Now I know that it doesn't matter how big this circle is. If it's half a circle, this angle here will always be 180 degrees. But equally, if I take the length of this, this circumference, this half circumference, and I divide it by the radius, no matter how big the circle is, I always get the ratio 3.14, which you'll recognize as that number pi. So when people talk about pi radians, they're just talking about the number 3.14, 3.14 radians. Um, it's always going to work out as that ratio, no matter how big the circle is. I could take a full circle, and I know that however big it is, this angle will be 360 degrees, but equally, the ratio of the circumference to the radius of the circle, so the circumference divided by the radius, would, if it was a full circle, would always give me 6.28. So that's where this number comes from. Uh, and we could call this 2 pi. It's twice as big as 3.14. So when people say 2 pi radians, that's the same as saying 6.28 radians, or 3.14 is uh, radians is the same as saying pi radians. So that's where the number comes from. But what we really need to know in the... Um, but what the comment was kind of directed at was how do I convert one into the other? Right, here we go. Quite often we are, anyone who wants to do the conversion has been given a number in radians and we want to visualize it in degrees. Now there's a couple of ways I can do it. What I can do is I can figure out what one radian is in degrees, right? Or what one degree is in radians and do the conversion from there. So for example, if I know there are 360 degrees in a circle, and I know there are 6.28 radians, 360 divided by 6.28 will tell me what one radian is in degrees. So one radian in degrees would work out at about 57.3 degrees. Or I could do it the other way around. I could figure out how many degrees there are in a radian, and I could do 6.28 divided by 360, and that would tell me there's about 0 uh, 0 0.017 radians in a degree. And I could remember those conversions. Oh, I could just think, stuff it. That's probably not the best way of doing it. All right. There is a far simpler way. And again, if I'm given the number of radians in a degree, uh, if I'm given the number of radians and I want to turn it into a degree, then I can take my number of radians and I can multiply it by 180 over pi. So if I'm given 6.28 radians, which I know is 360, and I do uh, 360 degrees, and I do this, that will give me 360 degrees. But what if I'm given the number of degrees and I want to turn it into radians? Can't think of why I'd want to do that, but I could take the number of degrees and I could do the opposite. I could times it by pi over 180. Um, and let's say I had 360 degrees. If I times it by pi over 180, that will give me 6.28 radians, which is a, a full circle. So that's how I'd convert between the two. Now, this is where I'm going to ask you guys, because I'm not a mathematician. You know, I'm a science teacher that can do a bit of maths. Um, I hate radians. I absolutely hate them. I convert them back into degrees every chance I've possibly got. So anyone out there that actually works with radians a lot, if you want to post in the comments, or even put a video on our link to it of why on earth you use radians on a daily basis, uh, why you prefer them, then please post it. Thanks. Bye-bye.